Well, good morning, Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida, we're dropping by Eight Limbs Academy to see how their self-defense instructors can help you with your New Year's resolution of getting in shape. We're also giving you the latest on family-friendly events happening this holiday season, so be sure to stick around for What's Up RGV. Plus, we've got info on how you can travel by air in a safe way. That's right, we're speaking with the team at Valley International Airport to learn more. You're not going to want to go anywhere. Valley Por Vida starts now. Hi there, and thanks again so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, Eight Limbs Academy has a goal to help students build confidence as well as physical fitness and self-defense skills. Their gym instructors can help you achieve your full potential in a comfortable, courteous, and positive workout environment. With the new year approaching, uh, many will vow to get fit, so it only seemed right for us to drop on by and catch a glimpse of the early action. Check it out. If you're interested in trying something different, if lifting weights and running isn't doing it for you anymore, uh, this is a great way to start uh, something new, uh, learn how to defend yourself. It's a life skill, you'll, you'll lose weight. Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu martial arts in general has so many great benefits. Uh, self-discipline, uh, honor, and respect, uh, weight loss, building self-confidence in yourself and, and wanting to do better and push others uh, to do as well as you. Uh, we offer traditional Muay Thai classes and also Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The only thing it takes to start is showing up. That's the hardest part. Once you're here, you start at your own pace and we'll go from there. Whether you're a beginner or have some experience, Eight Limbs Academy has a program to suit your needs. As their team says, you don't have to fight to train, but you can train to fight. If you'd like to join their gym, you can visit their location at 109 Expressway 77 in Harlingen. You can also give their team a call at 956-454-6015 or email 8 Thai at gmail.com. After you're pumped up and feeling good, of course, you'll want to get out there and enjoy all the community has to offer. So we've got you covered with plenty of can't miss events happening right here in the Valley. It's time now for What's Up RGV. This weekend, the 2020 annual McAllen Holiday Parade is taking place, but there are also plenty of activities tied to the event. Frio is a winter extravaganza that is right now underway and will continue through January the 6th. The parade will even feature special synthetic snow, plus ice, lights, and lots of food. This is all part of the 40 days of Christmas celebration, and you are invited to attend. You can drop by Oval Park, the McAllen Performing Arts Center, and at the McAllen Convention Center. There might even be a special appearance from Santa Claus and surprise celebrity guests. For more details, you can ex visit exploremcallen.com. Next, we head on down to the Lower Valley as the Brownsville Museum of Fine Art hosts various holiday events for the whole family. Upcoming events hosted by BMFA include poinsettia flower painting, hanging winter hat with mittens, handprint Grinch, 3D snowman crafts, community night, and New Year's party poppers. Bring the kids to take part in creating and decorating free printable party popper cards to send to your family and friends. This is all happening on location free of charge from December the 29th through December the 31st and it's a great way to get in the holiday spirit with the whole family. If you'd like more information on all events happening at the Brownsville Museum of Fine Art you can drop by 501 East Ringgold Street suite number five. You can also give them a call at 956-548-9300 or log on to cmofbrownsville.com. Be sure to stay tuned for more upcoming holiday events. We're bringing you all of the details on everything going on right here in the Valley every weekday so that you don't miss a thing. And of course, a full list of events can be found on valleycentral.com. 
while there's plenty happening throughout the valley, there may be times when you want to see what else is going on in the world. Traveling during this time can be nerve-wracking, but the team at Valley International Airport is dedicated to ensuring you have the ability to fly to your destinations in a clean and safe environment. We dropped by and met with Director of Aviation Mark Esterly to learn more. The very beginning of this public health crisis, uh, Valley International Airport sprung into action on our, our team uh, to make sure that uh, we were doing everything uh, humanly possible uh, to protect not only uh, our passengers, but also our employees and our attendance employees here at the airport. Uh, we had immediately started a, a regiment of cleaning um, you know, throughout the terminal building on all high touch surface areas utilizing uh, hospital disinfectant and that is done on a continued basis throughout the entire day. Uh, an aircraft comes in, you know, there's people sitting in the waiting area and as soon as they get up and get on the aircraft our team comes in and actually wipes down and disinfects the entire seating area, uh, arms and anything that they may have touched. So for the next uh, flight passengers coming in uh, we'll have a totally clean area. Um, other things that we looked at uh, was the social distancing. We knew that uh, we had to provide for social distancing. Uh, so we had actually started with floor markings that made sure that all our queue lines um, had a six foot distance between passengers waiting uh, to get a ticket or waiting at the podium upstairs at the gate area uh, to be seen by an agent. Um, so those were, those were installed pretty quickly. Um, and immediately after that, uh, we knew that uh, once you have that uh, close contact with uh, an employee at the airport, uh, whether it's at the ticket counter, whether it's at the security checkpoint in queue line, or at the podium upstairs, or a food area, or rental car, that we made, we needed to put barriers, plexiglass barriers, uh, that would protect both the employee and the passenger. So those were installed, and, uh, and they were very, very well received by the airlines. Um, we had, uh, uh, very interesting enough, uh, a few years back, we had uh, already installed a UV lighting in all of our air handler units, um, and that kills, it's a special UV lighting that actually kills not only bacteria, but also viruses and COVID virus. Um, so air, every air, bit of air that circulated through the terminal building, uh, through the return air vents, actually goes through this UV lighting disinfectant. Uh, so, you know, lots of things we continue to monitor. We uh, work very closely with our airline partners. Uh, as our airline partners, we want to make sure that we're doing things and, you know, that, that uh, assist them and they're doing things that assist us. So we work very, very closely with them uh, to ensure that it's seamless. The safety is seamless once you come through the terminal building, get on the plane, go to the next airport. Um, Interesting enough, I, I also um, sit on the board for the uh, Texas Commercial Airports Association. So, you know, we were able to, to coordinate with uh, other airports as well to make sure that uh, we're all on the same page and doing the same things. Uh, so it's been, uh, it's been quite a ride, uh, of course, and uh, we want to continue to adapt, you know, as we move forward to make sure if there's any new measures that come out um, that uh, we, need to, we need to get to, to, the, to the passengers and employees and implement that we're ready to do so. Passengers were worried about traveling before because they had seen terminal buildings that weren't just as clean as they like them to be. I think that's a thing of the past and uh, I can tell you at Valley International Airport uh, we will strive for the, to be the cleanliest airport in the United States. Their team is dedicated to ensuring a safe and clean atmosphere for all passengers. Valley International Airport is located at 3002 Heritage Way in Harlingen. You can give them a call at 956-430-8600 or log on to flythevalley.com. Well, the Humane Society of Harlingen serves more than 6,000 homeless and injured animals each year, and this year is no different. Through volunteering and donating, your support can help their team continue the mission of providing shelter and caring for these cats and dogs. Sarah Cano, Community Encouragement, uh, Engagement Coordinator at the shelter, tells us how easy it is to become a 956 champion. I'm really excited because I have a brand new way for you to show your support for homeless and lost pets in the RGV. By joining us as a 956 champion, your donation of as low as $9.56 a month can help change the lives of little kitties just like Fly and little doggies just like our other ones on Pet of the Week. If you're interested, you can just go onto our website, hshtx.org backslash donate. For more information on how you can become a 956 champion, feel free to visit hshtx.org. 
Well, thanks again so much for joining us today and be sure to come back tomorrow because we'll be heading down to the island for an outdoor sailing adventure. Plus, we're taking you to Quinta Mazatlan for a sneak peek at some exciting holiday exhibits, all of that and more tomorrow. We'll see you then.